Hello everyone, and welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Katherine Griffith, and I'm the Cress Interpretive Fellow at the museum. Today, I want to talk to you about a screen print, The Library, by painter and printmaker Jacob Lawrence. Throughout his long career, which spanned from the 1930s until his death in 2000, Lawrence depicted African-American histories and experiences, telling the stories of famous 19th century heroes such as Harriet Tubman, Frederick Douglass, and Toussaint Louverture, as well as depicting scenes of contemporary life and work for African-Americans. In 1930, when Lawrence was a teenager, he and his family moved to Harlem, where he trained as an artist and met some of the leading figures of the Harlem Renaissance, including the poet Langston Hughes and novelist Rolf Ellison. Lawrence is perhaps best known for his migration series, painted in 1940 and 1941. Across 60 paintings and accompanied by his own text, Lawrence tells the story of the Great Migration, the massive flight of African Americans from the southern United States to the north following the outbreak of World War I. Fleeing segregation, racial violence, and poverty, millions of African Americans moved to cities in the northern U.S. This was also personal to Lawrence and his family. His parents were originally from Virginia and South Carolina. Lawrence himself was born in New Jersey and spent his childhood in eastern Pennsylvania and Philadelphia before his family moved to New York. The series brought Lawrence national recognition. Lawrence produced this screen print, The Library, in 1978. From the 1960s onward, Lawrence experimented with printmaking, working in different techniques and even reworking some of the compositions from his paintings. He translated his characteristic style, featuring bold, solid colors, flat forms, and sharp lines, into various print media. In this print, we see figures absorbed in reading, choosing books, and peeking out from behind shelves. In the center, a man pushes a cart overflowing with books. Lawrence revisited the theme of libraries several times during his career. In his own life, one library in particular had special resonance for him. The 135th Street branch of the New York Public Library in Harlem, now the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture, was a vibrant part of the Harlem community and an intellectual hub of the Harlem Renaissance. By the 1920s, the historian and writer Arturo Alfonso Schomburg had gathered an extensive collection of materials specializing in Black literature and history, including books, newspapers, magazines, photographs, and prints, which was housed at the 135th Street Library. In addition to the book and archival collections, the library held lecture series, art and drama workshops, and programs on Black history for community groups. As a teenager, Lawrence had attended the Harlem Art Workshop at the library and later used the Schaumburg collection to conduct research for his painting series. Later in life, Lawrence remembered, quote, I was encouraged by my teachers to go to the library. All of us were. I would hear stories from librarians about various heroes and heroines. The library in my day was a very important part of my life. Although this library is not described as the Schaumburg, Lawrence may have had his experiences there in mind for this print. Like the Schomburg, he depicts this library as a place of community, learning, and shared experience. Do you have similar places in your community that are important to you? Let us know in the comments below.